everybody welcome back to just dream guys so i keep getting the question on um how do you know that you're spiritually woke i hate that word by the way woke i, I think mainly because people use it wrong <laughs> or people overuse it and that just takes away from the actual meaning of the word so i call it spiritual awakening or whatever and the way you know that you're waking up you know, spiritually, your your body and your soul is just like in connection with God. When you're in sync with God, you have the ability to tap into your spiritual gifts, not just your regular gifts. Okay, so I'm an engineer. Okay, so I'm a scientist. Okay, so I'm a ballerina. Okay, so I do all these things and it's amazing. But my spiritual gifts, clairvoyance, intuition, mm, just accepted the fact that I'm a medium as well. I can talk to your past loved ones i definitely do that more than i thought i could i mean it that kind of happened it's a whole nother story for that but it, it happened years ago uh with ex boyfriend of mine and it just got bigger and bigger like i mean i talked to my grandmother the other day and it tripped me out okay Whew. and um you know I, a lot of people gonna call you crazy a lot of people gonna say oh you don't know a lot of people gonna say oh man you know Try to make it dark. Okay, you're a witch. I'm not a witch. I don't do witchy things. No, thank you. I'm into the spirit of healing. I'm about my father's mission. God gives us all purpose. When you tap into your purpose, you're waking up. When you tap into your spiritual gifts, you're waking up. When you're no longer like uh, denying or dismissing the fact that you do have spiritual gifts, welcome to the land of woke. <laughs> I hate that word, okay? But yeah, though, like, I mean, then we can have conversations. Then we can talk on a higher, higher level because the Bible says we don't battle with flesh and blood. We battle against principalities. When you start tapping into that other realm, your third eye gets open. You start to see things bigger than what they really, you know, come off as on the flesh. D. Gregory said it the best. Um, I'm going to post that so people know what I'm referring to. But he said, once you put those glasses on, you know, and you really see things differently in life. There's rules to this. You can't take them off. <laughs> so you'll never be able to go back to old you. Um, and then you can't pass them along to nobody else. You can't wake nobody else up. You, you definitely can't say, here, here's my glasses. Because they're custom fit. You know what I'm saying? Um, I do inspire people. And I hope I'm inspiring people today with this video. I hate being on the videos. I say that all the time. But I'm hoping that I'm inspiring somebody to wake up. And I'm, I'm inspiring somebody to heal themselves. Because once you tap into healing and learn that you can heal yourself or learn that you can get help and heal, um, then you're waking up. Another thing is you start to see lights on the side, like in your peripheral. Light sensitivity is one of them. Headaches come a lot when you're, especially if you're channeling something. I channel songs. I didn't know this. My little sister used to tell me a lot of times old, when I was growing up, she's like, you got a song for everything. Now I know I channel songs, not the whole song. Sometimes just the chorus or something in the song has meaning to what I'm saying. And it's very, very relevant to my conversation. And so it comes down like the radio is on in my head, like for real. Um, When you start accepting again, the fact that you're not crazy, the fact that you do have gifts, because crazy is just what, you know, not conforming to the rest of the world. Again, we battle not with flesh and blood. We battle against principalities. So who's really crazy? You gonna keep, you gonna stay in the flesh and blood realm? Even though you got demons out here? Even though you got angels out here to call up on? When you're in trouble, you can call on angels. You can call on God. When you wake up and you start to get your spiritual alignment with God, that's all you're doing. The spiritual awakening is about connecting to the higher source. Now it's cool to pray. I pray three times a day. I'm not Muslim or anything. I pray. It's cool to tap into some vibes. It's cool to be, you know, talk to your angels. It's cool to talk to your ancestors and all that. But when you really tap into your gifts, honor your gifts. Seriously. It's a whole nother level. Awakening also involves a lot of getting rid of people that they say no longer serves you. So I'm saying things that, I mean, and I, I, I used to hate hearing uh, terms that I'd be like, mm. I think because people overuse it. Really, I think that that's not a me problem. That's a them problem. They overuse it, but that doesn't mean that it does not apply. Okay, so 
again, um, you, you're going into this awareness of yourself. You're going into this awareness of God. You're connected. You're in line. You know, you realize at some points when you get into your spiritual awakening that you came with a purpose. Your purpose is really there. Okay, so what? Like I say, I'm a, I'm a chemical engineer. I'm a bi bi biomedical. I, I can name a ballerina. I can name all kinds of cool stuff that I do in the physical realm. You know, I'm an entrepreneur. I got all the types of that kind of cool stuff going on. But you go all crazy when you tap into the this real stuff. I mean, the Bible says it. <laughs> so how is that crazy? Then you begin not to care about being crazy. That's one of the parts of waking up. <laughs> You're like, okay, call me crazy then, because I be knowing. <laughs> when you connected to God and you got that third eye open, you be knowing. You be knowing stuff that you never even thought. So, for instance, I'm a medium. Like I said, I'm clairvoyant. Um, I dream very heavily. So, I'm accepting these deeper gifts of mine. Some people can talk to the dead. I, I, I have a medium part about me. I can talk to your loved ones, but... They have to come to me. I can't. I Well, as far as I know right now, you know, who knows what the gifts may open up into and develop into. But um, I can't tap into somebody just because I'm connected to them. They like literally somebody has to open up to me. <laughs> so um, another thing is you won't have the same friends. You won't want to do the same things. You won't want to hang around the same people. Unless they're on the same spiritual level as you. Um, oh, and music is important too. You won't want to listen to the same things. As Big Chris said, if it don't touch my soul, I can't listen to it. And seriously, I hear the songs these days. And I've always been so R&B, you know. So I don't really like the whole, like, yeah, if this whole and da 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 Like, you know, all that stuff is just goofy to me. Because, what? <laughs> Uh, I mean, I, I used to love the little dance music, like my Dougie, I'm fresh, yep, fly, and I'm, okay, I like that kind of music, but I don't like the stuff that they got, like, uh, I was listening to drinking my cup, and came down, like, hold up, grip the wood, like, um, but he like, girl, I know you really want somebody, want somebody that don't really need you, girl, I know you really want somebody, want somebody who ain't trying to keep you, you start listening to lyrics, like, totally different, you like, He's like, you heard what I said, put you to bed. I ain't trying to love you, baby, just you instead. I'm like, I can't listen to drinking my cup. Like, now I like the, I love the chorus, okay? I got this drinking my cup, but I can't listen to that song no more. That just, it doesn't identify with my spiritual awakening. It doesn't identify with the heightened sense of psychic abilities that I have. That's very low vibrational. I just hate that word too, vibration. Because energy does mean something. Energy is neither created or destroyed. It's just transferred. That's scientific as well. When you start to place things that you learned into your spiritual realm, then you're really living in God's purpose. That's what spiritual awakening is about. Living in God's purpose. So, again, if it don't touch my soul, if it ain't in line with what I need, eating better, um, doing better, feeling better, being better for other people, you might get headaches too. Uh, that's one of the physical things of spiritually awakening but if you don't line up with everything that you're supposed to be doing god will remove it if you don't <laughs> seriously anyways i just wanted to do this video it was supposed to be short i'm just being personal at this point because um i no longer feel crazy i feel liberated i feel free to be me i feel free to be in god's purpose and i have a mission that i'm pop i'm about my father's business for real